Hello from uh, the M6 meeting at Nimiga. Uh, we are with uh, Robert Chan yes. from M6 TMT. Logic, yes. TMT Logic. Yes. And um, that has uh, several uh, several products. And his family is growing. Every every meeting, your family is growing, right? Yeah, not that fast as before. You have to. Yes, not not that fast as before, but uh, yeah, we're we're still busy with uh, with uh, developing uh, some stuff. And um, the novelty right now it's maybe the graphics nine. No, no, that's not the last one. Yeah, the last one which is ready indeed. Uh -huh. uh, this is uh, <laughs> indeed a, G a GFX nine. Let's show uh, it to camera. Ah, yeah, this here one. It is. which happens to be. Uh, Graphics 9000, right? Yeah, yes, it's Graphics 9000 compatible, just uh, like the uh, Power Graph from Brazil uh -huh. and, and, uh, and from Sunrise. Uh, yes. So it's capable. Uh, of Without money. superimpose, I guess. No, this one isn't uh, with superimpose. The, the Spanish one, uh, the Spanish one uh, is 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 uh, able to superimpose, I believe. No, no, no. no. Oh, uh, n neither. No, so oh, neither. Okay. Neither. Okay. Okay. Um, this is your latest release. Um, uh, how much does it cost? Uh, this one isn't unfortunately uh, for sale anymore because we are, we run out of chips. Oh. Uh, yes, the availability of the uh, 9990 chips is uh, it's, it's very complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. It's very hard uh, to find uh, someone, or if you find them, uh, it's it's in uh, large batches. You have to buy 50 or 100 in one time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, yeah, we're waiting uh, to obtain uh, some new uh, some new chips, and then we can produce them again. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we have none on stock uh, anymore at the moment. Maybe, okay. maybe in future, yeah, a lot of people are still interested. Uh huh. Okay, how? Uh, wh which was the sale uh, sale price of the of this uh, graphics nine? This one was uh, one hundred euros. 100 euros yes okay. yes it's very very uh, very interesting price yes but but still you have uh while you fix this uh, situation of uh, of the availability of the of the circuits yes uh you have something new yes uh, that's right it's yeah. not for sale yet no but it's something new Sh please show us yeah it's it's not uh, completely ready for uh, for msx yet it's still in development uh, you One want moment. to show it? Yes, this, this, this board. Uh -huh. It's called the Simbiface. It's also uh, also shown at the Symbos uh, team. It's originally for the CPC computer. Uh -huh. It's for the CPC uh, developed, and it also has more functions on the CPC implemented yet. Uh, for MSX, there is also uh, 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 a prototype with an uh, with a converter board. Yes, because. But this was originally for CPC, the Amstrad. Yes, that's right. And the, uh, then uh, you have to adapt the, the, the pins uh, of the CPC that happens to be like, uh, like yes. this. Yes. This is the interface connector of the Amstrad CPC. Yes, you have different connectors, of course, the main connector. And uh, yeah, that it has so, uh, several possibilities like uh, like uh, MPD, MP3 playback. It's the same, all, uh, the same as this cartridge does. Okay. It's uh, MP, uh, Sunrise MP3 compatible. Uh -huh. And you have a lot of other options. Uh, it has Wi-Fi. Uh, it has a, as this moment, it has a memory mapper of two or four megabytes you can use. Uh -huh. And it, at the moment, it can stream uh, web radio on MSX. So, if I'm not wrong, this this circuit over here is the is the Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's right. And it has two USBs. Yes, but that's not uh, f the USB is not implemented yet for MSX and also a lot of other functions like the SD micro SD card or flashing ROMs. Uh, you cannot do that. Uh, the mouse is. A mouse also not yet. Not yet. No, no, no. only a memory mapper, Wi-Fi, uh, playing MP3, and uh, uh, web radio, streaming web radio. And this uh, this jacks over here is for micro and earphones for listening the MP3s. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. It it, it looks uh, quite. Good. It packs a lot of things. Yes. It's oh, what what do you need for uh, enabling the the um, FAT32 uh, to MSX and the mouse. Yeah, that is still something that is under development. Hans, mm -hmm. uh, the creator of uh, TMT Logic, is uh, 
still uh, thinking about uh, how to uh, how to uh, uh, access uh, FAT32 uh, uh -huh. on MSX because that's not uh, still not uh, yeah not possible or not well known on MSX only uh, FAT12 as we know and uh, FAT16. So uh, <laughs> he's trying to uh, to make a, make a driver which uh, will access on uh, on uh, 32 uh, FAT32. <laughs> But uh, we have to wait for that because it's also uh, all all on the development. Okay, okay. But you uh, on the past meetings, I could see that you brought um, different cartridges. Yes. One is one is one with with the antenna. Yes, this is the <coughs> one of the first products of uh, TMT. It's a uh, it's uh, Sunrise MP3 compatible. It's an MP3 player with an MP3 encoder. And it also has a little radio in inside, an uh, FM uh, radio. That's uh, why the antenna is on top uh -huh. of it. You can uh, stick also uh, uh, USB, uh, USB in it. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, you can play, uh, like it said, play MP3 with it. And uh, what you can play uh, in the, uh, the USB, you can plug a USB stick, so you can. So you can listen the contents of the of the of the USB stick. Yeah, it's only MSX basic, so it, it uses direct access uh, to to access the MP3 file. So you can use it for other storage or to store uh, MSX DOS or Nextor on it. That's that's not possible. So it's it's only uh, for playing MP3. O only only reading. Only reading. Only reading. Yes. And then there is something. Yes, that's another cartridge. It's also a nice one sold by a colleague of mine. It's. Unfortunately, already also already sold out. It's a digital radio, DIB plus. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. You can uh, put an an antenna on it. Explain what DIB is. Yes, many people. No, it's uh, in the Netherlands and also I think a lot of other countries, maybe Spain and France also. Uh, the old analog radio FM. Mm. I think in a lot of countries is going to disappear well, eventually. In Norway, I think it already disappeared yeah. or it's going to disappear. Yeah, I, I already heard today from someone from Denmark. They already, they also going to, uh, to uh, uh, that, that F FM, the analog radio is going to disappear. Uh, so um, you also see a lot of radios uh, or in ca new cars, which are already have uh, digital radio implemented. Uh huh. So uh, you can, this is very nice. You can use it on your MSX, uh, and you can uh, uh, get a normal antenna or an antenna with a with an amplifier. You can uh, you can reach uh, more st even more stations, and you have a good. Uh, uh, you can go listen uh, very well mm -hmm. to your uh, digital radio. Okay, okay. But um, are you going to release any new batch of this one? Yeah, this one is uh, the, the current one has an uh, has an DIB module on it, which is isn't available anymore. So there is a new, there is an, another uh, DIB module on the market, which is a little bit uh, more expensive. So uh, this uh, and this also requires uh, some new hardware, I think, some new other PCB uh, implementation. Mm. So um, yeah, it is also there. It yeah, so you have to begin from the scratch. I th yeah, I think we uh, we have to uh, or adjust the, the existing or uh, or uh, make a new one. Okay. Make okay. A new design. I see. I see. Uh, <clears throat> also, um, the 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 expense of this uh, of this DAB, how much did it cost? Uh, a colleague of me sold this one, so I don't know the exact price. I thought it was uh, eighty-five euros. Eighty-five and the SA one. Uh, oh, that was also sold by another colleague of mine. <laughs> but I saw the uh, the price here today was sixty-two. I saw. Sixty-two. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and you, uh, your project currently is adapting this board from CBC to MSX. Yes, yes. Uh, we intend to uh, to uh, to make a, a new uh, new uh, board for this one. It will will also be a smaller one as this one. As you see, the, as you see, this is uh, quite big. Yes. Also to fit in a case. Uh, so we uh, we have to uh, look for a, a 3D model case or another uh, big case, but. Uh, if there comes an, another uh, MSX version, uh, yeah, then we, we also have to look at the size and the, and the case. 
Okay. So, but it's still on the development, and and yeah, this one is uh, is still a prototype for uh, for MSX. Okay, so uh, so we don't have any plans yet for it when it will be available. So it's not going to be the. F it's not like uh, placing a small interface board in the middle. No, uh, you are going. You are working with uh, with this to know how it works and to, in order to make your own board. Yes, and to demonstrate it here, so to show it's possible, and and uh, it will not be available in this way to the public. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. I see. Uh, you plan to continue coming to M6 meetings, uh, uh, maybe to other M6 meetings like uh, the one in Barcelona. Maybe we, we will try to. Uh, I, I don't know if it's uh, yeah if it's if it's possible for us, but uh, yeah maybe we'll uh, in future we will try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are most welcome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. Then thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. And well, uh, I hope you succeed with this uh, new board. Yeah, thank you very okay. much. And thank you for thank your time. You. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.